long run aggregate supply curve in the long run wages are flexible that is they are not sticky suppose short run aggregate supply curve is given by sr as1 curve and the aggregate demand curve is given by ad1 suppose aggregate demand falls from ad1 to ad2 it will lead to fall in output and output will decrease when employment falls output falls to y2 at y2 there is high level of unemployment which will lead to fall in wages why because there is excess supply of labor at y2 this excess labor will start accepting low wages but you will ask they are getting unemployment benefits why on this earth they will accept low wages but unemployment benefits they are also given for a certain time period and they are not given forever when their periods of unemployment benefits get over they will have to accept low wages and they have to start working even at low wages well it is profitable for firms to hire more workers at low wages what will happen to sras curve it will shift outwards to sras2 curve what if demand doesn't improve over time this has all of this has happened because demand curve is falling what if demand curve doesn't improve demand doesn't improve over time then it will put further downward pressure on wages because of further downward pressure on wages there will be more unemployment more unemployed workers will start accepting lower wages and hence it will shift the aggregate supply curve more out or more outward shift would happen in aggregate supply curve towards sras3 at sras3 and ad2 intersection what do you find prices are low and output is back at its initial level of full employment now that y1 is the full employment level of output what is full employment level of output full employment level of output is that level of output which you could produce given that you are employing all the resources fully that is the maximum amount of output which you could produce initially you were at y1 that is at full employment level of output then economy experienced a uh, fall in the aggregate demand because of fall in the aggregate demand there was high unemployment people started accepting lower wages because this is in long run which is happening and uh, uh, there there are flexible wages people started accepting lower wages and uh, and people started accepting lower wages and uh, aggregate supply curve will move outwards now the point is that uh, in the long run the increase in prices that sellers receive for their final goods is completely offset by the proportional increase in the prices that seller pay for the inputs so in the long run what you will find is that your aggregate supply curve is vertical now so whatever be the increase or decrease in prices it is not affecting real gdp it is that uh, real gdp or real output it is it is constant at y1 it is constant at that full employment level of output now if there is an increase in the price level suppose you are a producer of certain product and you have experienced increase in the price level for your product but there is an increase in the general price level so even the inputs which you are using in producing your product they have also become more costly so whatever increase in price level you have experienced because of uh, uh, because of whatever reason because of increase in the general price level you are also that is completely offset by increase in the general price level in the overall economy because the cost of production also has increased the result is that the quantity of real gdp supplied by all sellers in the economy is independent of changes in the price level well output of the economy in the long run is determined by productivity of resources and technology it is not determined by the level of prices the level of prices they play their role only in the short run but not in the long run in the long run what is it that is playing the role in determining the output the productivity of resources and technology a vertical long run average uh, aggregate supply curve it indicates the fact that output in the long run is unrelated to the price level